Once upon a time, there was a man named Dr. Doolittle. He traveled far and wide, learning the language of animals and teaching them how to communicate as people do. That man was me. I decided to move to an island where I could live with the animals and teach them how to speak to each other. I named my new home Doolittle Island. Through communication, friendships were formed and peace ruled. When my work was done, I bid my friends bye-bye, and I journeyed to a new land where I could share my teachings once again. But there was one animal on Doolittle Island that did not believe in my work. He felt it was unnatural for animals and humans to coexist in harmony. Once I was gone, he was crazed with power, and any friend of mine became an enemy of his. This is where my story ends, and a new one begins. The story of my nephew, John Doolittle. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals you can always count on till the very end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals are just everyday plain folk. Listen up and you'll hear that they're always cracking jokes. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals are just everyday plain folk. When you hang with a monkey, he is never in a funk. He always seems to be as cheerful as can be. After all, he gets to swing from tree to tree. His day job is all play, and I might even dare say, life can't be more complete peeling bananas with your feet. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals will stick by your side until the bitter end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Now, as you might have guessed to me, a dog, now that's the best. He's always just so happy as can be. He's the greatest pal there is, even to fleas. His tail's always wagging, and I don't mean to be bragging, but I really must declare that no human can compare. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals you can always count on till the very end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals you can always count on till the very end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best. Nothing can compare to the rest. Animals make the very best of friends. Let's go. If all goes according to plan, my translator should be ready by sunset. Yep, yep, yep. Only a few more tweaks, and we should be ready. <laughs> Good boy, Jip. Yep. Ah, must have left the hot air tank on. Automatic elevator platform going down. Yep. Whoa. Ah. This trial is going to prove that I am just like Uncle John, a genuine Doolittle. Huh? Thanks for your vote of confidence, Polly. Oh, dear. Someone needs to lay off the beat polisher. Canine Language Experiment 44 is underway. <laughs> Buffalo bits. 
I followed Uncle John's design exactly. Hmm, I just don't see what I'm doing wrong here. I suppose that genius stuff skips a generation. Meanwhile, the situation on Doolittle Island was getting worse. The animals were at their wit's end, so an unlikely messenger was sent out to find help. Ramsey, King, Ramsey, whatever. Stop babbling. It's time to unleash the gorillas. You know, the gorillas are not actually leashed, technically, but they are locked. They locked inside the mountain. Well, then, technically, unlock them. Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. I can do that. I can do that. Yo, the gorillas, unleash them. Unlock them! I mean, you know what to do! Now that Doolittle is gone, I can finally take back what is rightfully mine! Come on, Trumps! Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. I do! Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's time. Lower the brainy ape. <laughs> the same dismal fate will be met by anyone who is associated with that human. Could we discuss this like civilized creatures? We could. But we won't! 
have it your way, but when the library wants this book back, you pay the fine! Any friend of Doolittle is an enemy of mine. Now go, all of you! Go, I said go! What is wrong with you hairbags? Ah, uh, uh, King Ramsay, Sir Quick, no. They don't, uh, understand, remember? They only speak apish. Apes. So, translate my orders to them. Now! Yes, sir! Today marks the dawn of a new era. My era. Say goodbye to Doolittle and his little friends, Chops. So long, Doolittle. No more Doolittle. No more friendships. Who needs Doolittle? Yeah! Except he never really did anything bad to us. Uh, now that I think of it, that guy was pretty nice. Why are we getting rid of uh, Doolittle? Get Doolittle. Do yes, my liege. What is a liege anyway? Liege, what does that mean? Some kind of sled or toboggan or something? No, that's a luge. <laughs> the sweet, illiterate sound of my adoring public. <laughs> Ha 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 to wash the floor. You know how dreadfully dirty they can get. And if you could clean the cupboard, you know, the one that I can't... There's only one person who can save us! Stop! Don't do it all! <gasps> you, you spoke, and I could understand you. It's a miracle! I'm just like Uncle John after all! Oh, 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 with you, dear. I'm sure you two have plenty to talk about. Polly, I can understand you too. This is incredible! All this time I thought I needed a translator. Now let's see if you can understand me. What does that mean? I think this kid needs Dr. Doolittle more than we do. You found him. That's me. Uh, actually, no. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Not possible. The Doolittle I'm looking for is older, balding, a slightly tubby fellow. Ah, uh, you must mean my uncle. Yeah, your uncle! Do you know where he is? Doolittle Island really needs him. Doolittle Island? You have to take me there. Please. No, not a chance. <laughs> Polly, please. I know my uncle. I've read his diary a hundred times. I can fix this problem. Well, good enough for me. <laughs> What was your plan? Well, to be perfectly honest, I didn't exactly have a plan. If only there was a way to fix the boat. <laughs> Thank heavens I'm here to help you. Okay, Polly, we get the point. This parrot only grants one miracle a day. Ah! This is it! Ah! This is the ah! moment I've been waiting for! Ah! Exactly how I imagined it to be. 
It's so... It's a little gloomy, I know. It wasn't always this way, though. Okay, so class in human meow means... What? What does meow mean? Anybody? You're the substitute teacher, Gordo. Tell him. Me, I am? Oh, that's sure. Uh, meow means... Uh, yeah, it's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Meow means... Uh, hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Anything good to eat around here? Yes, little kitty thing. Meow, I want our old teacher back. Meow, Miss Pink. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes two of us. <laughs> Come on, Tango, a little help here. Ah! Mm, yeah, I wish I could, Gordo, but I have to answer to a higher calling. Uh, and the higher calling is what? What? The sound of the gorilla army calling my name. Listen. Who? Huh, tango. Who? Ha, huh, Tango. You hear it? Huh? Yeah, you want to come? Gorillas? Ah! No way! Besides, I'm working here. I'm a sub, remember? They took Miss Ping. No more subs! No more subs! Anyway, you no can't reach your buddy. All your no friends are here. Subs. Listen, you guys are sweet, but there are bigger, better buddies over there. No more subs! No more subs! <laughs> no more subs! No more subs! Wait a second. I'm a sub. Oh, wow! Right off the scout! Wow! Woo! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Good shot! <laughs> that one tickled me. Don't worry, Gordo. Your butt's way too big to fit in their cages anyway. <laughs> I, I, I know! I know! Right? I broke myself up! <sighs> hey, can't say it's been fun because it hasn't. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, what? Wait! What is this? Stop it! Hey! Oh, I give up! You're animals! Wow, look at big, healthy. Oh, we are! are coming ashore! He's here! He's here! Dr. Doolittle's back! We're safe! <laughs> Orky donkeys, it's dab dab! Gordo, sanitize first! Uh, right, sorry. No! Ah, ah, not the underarm! Orky donkeys, it's dab dab! <laughs> ah, nice to see you, Gordo! Oh, there's definitely some foreign energy here. Oh, that's me! That's me! I had garlic toast for lunch. Come on down, everybody! Where does he think he's going? Hey, and you gotta go! You gotta go! <laughs> Stand back! No touching, please! Your attention, please! The solution to our problems has arrived! And I risked my life bringing him here today! So I expect lavish gifts from all of you at your earliest convenience! Squat! Right. Ahem. I present to you the chief of all chatter, the leader of language, the soapin' of sentences and science, the grand biz of the animal kingdom, biz, the one, the only, the new and improved, the doctor, the little. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Hey, who's that? Hello. Quit blocking my view. I am Dr. Doolittle. No, I can't watch this. We're dead. Ugh. Great, just what this island needs. Another human. No, honest, I'm Dr. Doolittle. Man, if Ramsey found out about this, he'd be very grateful to me. Oh, Dango, you're a genius. Gorilla Army Officer Training Camp, here I come! Uh oh. Wait, don't you understand? I 
can help save your friends. All we need is a little healthy communication. <laughs> uh, Doc, it looks like your ride just bailed. Uh, this isn't going too well. Terrific. This is just perfect. <laughs> I'll show you worse. It's about to get worse right about now. Horsey cute. This is just perfect. Gorillas, charge! <laughs> I'll grab the children. Bordo, you stop the gorillas. Polly's right. Run! You don't have to tell me twice. Everyone! So are gorillas. I'm going that way. <laughs> Ow, you're hurting me. That's far too small. And too stinky. <laughs> Victory for chumps! Oh! Oh my! Oh my! You boy! Come on, chop chop! Let's go! I want to see some volcano sacrifice, pronto! Uh, hey, watch the hooves, Gordo. Hoist me up, will ya? The uh, sure thing, Doc. But could you stop licking me? Ew, it's gross. <laughs> gross and ticklish. Just a minute. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, hey, Jip. Uh, stop with the licking, please. Kind of freaks me out. Yep. One more push. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Oh. My uncle never wrote about anything like this. So John's first night on Doolittle Island passed after an exhausting and eye-opening day. The next morning, John and his new friend Gordo started their journey deeper into the jungle. Come on, Jip. It appears the trail splits up ahead. <sighs> oh! Ow! Run him out! Boy, I'm not sure which route will get us to the dungeons faster. Do you know, Gordo? I can't breathe. Everything turning black. Oh, they're goners. We're goners. Everyone's a goner. Somebody hold me. <laughs> ah, come on, Gordo. Keep moving. You go ahead. But we need to get here. Dab Dab said this is where the animals are being held. But that's Gorilla Central. They'll peel you like an overripe banana. All we have to do is reason with their leader. My uncle always said the problems of the world can be solved with a little communication. Poor kid's out of his mind. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a very good idea. Why don't you go do that, okay? And I'll hang back here, because uh, I'm just slowing you down. Go, 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 enjoy. But we need you to lead the way. Oh, who are you kidding? You're Dr. Oinky Doinky Doolittle. You can do anything you want. Now, get out of here! And good luck. Bye. Well, Jip, I guess it's just you and me. I wish we'd had more time with Gordo. I really liked hanging out with him. Oh, uh, you did? Well... I like you guys, too. Friends, huh? Why'd you say that in the first place? <laughs> now, follow me. 
I will show you the way. Your eyes are beautiful shining stars sailing towards each other like two ships passing in the moonlight. For you and you only, my lovely Louise. Yoo-hoo! Over huh? here! You must be Eugene. And you must be my beautiful buttercup, my lovely lily, my dear sweet sunflower. Oh. <laughs> Just call me Louise. I have something for you, my love. I'll be right back. Huh? Rhino Ridge, enter at own risk. Hmm, enter at own risk? Sounds inviting! like an animal in need of a doctor. Or at the very least, a powerful antacid. We'd better help. You know, this friend concept is looking a little kooky and potentially dangerous. Hey, uh, wait for me! Hey. They will only eat plants. Not pork. Hmm. Well, why did you say so? I'll take it from here. Whoa, 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 big guy. Tell the Gordster what's bugging you. It's Louise. First she ran away. She's always been very coy. I found her, and we started to cuddle. I didn't get any emotional feedback. <laughs> oh, you're done. Yeah, you're sorry. Okay. Uh, 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 who are we talking about? Careful. Her beauty might blind you. Hmm. The doc said that rhinos are near lookers or blindsided or something visually goofy like that. Oh, I see what the problem is. How do I tell you? You know what? The Gordster is going to show you something that I think will clear everything right up. <clears throat> oh, you think this is your rhino lady, right? Wrong. What are you saying? Okay, if this were Louise, would she let me do this? One, two, three, four. Ah! Or this. Listen, you, she is a lady, not a dance floor. How's about the pony? The pony? Yeah. That kind of hurt. Ah! All right, all right, I'm almost done. But first, the Mexican hat dance! Stop! Is. Rhinos are nearsighted or myopic and benefit greatly from corrective lenses. Oh, these should do the trick, Chip. Well, 
Prepare to be turned into bacon bits. Before you do that, try these on. I believe they'll uh, clear things up. Whoa. Oh, hey. Wow. This sure explains a lot about the last 17 years of my life. Look at that. We should be on our way. As for the glasses, keep them. They are totally you. Thanks, little one. What did you say your name is? Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle. Ikey Dikey's uh, Doc. The gorilla's approaching fast. Let's put on the jets. Of course. Lead the way. Good luck finding the wheeze, Eugene. And enjoy the sights. Oh, they'd probably give me a medal for this. Hey, guys, I've got some information you're gonna want to hear. There's a... Uh, 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 a... Uh, uh, human on the island! of a little rhino? Not Tango, no siree. Oh, Louise, I'm coming for you. There's a trip to the hospital in my immediate future. Oh, oh Louise, where are you? See, you try to help someone and this is what you get. Oh. I can hear you, but oh. I don't see you, honey child. I'm down here, you ten ton ton of trouble. Ow. Hey, you're not Louise. Any chance a lovely pink vision passed this way? Yeah, sure. That way. Hey, thanks, little guy. My dear Louise, blah, 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 yada, 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 like two ships passing in the moonlight. Blech. As Ramsey and his guerrilla army continued to terrorize the island, animals who had once been close friends were now practically enemies, and my nephew was about to see this for himself. Hi! Yeah, yeah. Okay, team, the path to Ramsey's Dungeons is right through here. <sighs> ah? Weird. Those guys used to be best buds. Push! Pull! No, 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 no. How many times do I have to tell you push when I say push and pull when I say dear pull? Murray, bite that log in two. <sighs> Murray, I didn't tell you to bite Louie. I said bite the log. Is no one listening to me? Hello? Durr. Interesting. Interesting? What's interesting, Doc? Look, it must be Ramsey's doing. They're all fighting and not even listening to each other. Hmm, they sound just like animals. Glad I don't. <laughs> Things are starting to fall apart around here. Hmm. idea how much that's bothering me. Mm -hmm. And yet, you continue to play. Mm -hmm. Now everyone gather around and I want each of you to get in touch with your inner zebra. I'm not a zebra. Hey, no, but don't be sad. Be the other way. You're crazier than the duck. Ah! Phew! Place hasn't been dusted since the Middle Ages. Hi! Ah! Oh! Does anyone have a bucket and mop? Ugh, what a dump. Ugh. Oh, he is a duster. That's a start, at least. Do you mind? No! Oh! <laughs> My mistake. So, so sorry. Try to hold it together, will you? Uh, you're right. I should just be patient. Doolittle will help us, right? Who 
are you kidding? Doolittle's not helping anyone. He's just a kid. A kid without anyone to watch over him, thanks to you. Not me! You're the one who's dragged us halfway across the world to this place. Come on, Polly. Little Dr. Doolittle is sure to come through for us. Hey, Doolittle? Uh, what? Doolittle. What was that? Doolittle! Hey! Did you just say Doolittle? Not yet. No! I said, uh, uh, I wish I had a blue fiddle. Oh, blue fiddle. Hey! Gorillas! Take it in the chamber and go! <laughs> I said, uh, I want to hear a new riddle, or, uh, I said, uh, help! And I say we have ways of making you sing, little birdie. <laughs> oh, Polly, this is bad. Doesn't he care about karma? Hold me, Polly! <laughs> Where is Doolittle? I'll never tell! All right. Have it your way, Duck. But I hope you brought a winter coat, because for you, it is going to start getting very, very drafty in here. Uh, uh, any chance we can wait till molting season for this? Uh, fellas? Fellas? Come on! Meanwhile, John was making his way closer to the dungeons but not in time to save my dear friend, little Dabby Dabs. Ugh, we'll never get across this. Polly and Dab would know what to do. <coughs> Ooh, a truffle! Better grab it. Might get hungry later. <laughs> Self-killed isn't gonna help, Jip. Uh, don't look down, don't look down. <laughs> Your Majesty. What is it, Chomps? Keep it short. Uh, there are rumors that, that there's someone new on the island. Get to the point. Well, it's it's just that the... Ooh, how do I say this? Whitley! Doolittle, sir! Dr. Doolittle, he's back! Doolittle! No! That can't be. Yeah, I'm afraid so, sir, and I was given this information by a highly reliable source. Who? Well, it was a duck, sir. A little duck told me. A duck? Told you. Here, catch. Huh? But my leash, don't worry, your large horned head. I take care of the human. Then go take care of it. Yes, sir, sir. I'll, I'll make you proud, sir. Highly unlikely. Let's hope for your sake these rumors aren't true, Dr. Doolittle. Chip will show up. You'll see. Uh, yeah, sure, Doc, sure. He always finds his way home. Always. 
He has an exceptional sense of direction. <sighs> or he just has a good sense of finding you, because he's your pal. Well, he can just track you down. Oh, it's great having the best bud, isn't it? <laughs> like you and Jip. I have a great pal, too. Tango, we have been friends forever. Yeah, you know, Tango always gave me a hand when a thumb was better than a hoof. And I return the favor. When muscle and a big buck would do the trick. Oh! And now that I think about it, maybe this friendship with Tango is all it's cracked up to be. But, you know, it's different with you and Jip. Yeah. Chip takes care of all sorts of things. He's a great assistant, a loyal pet, a terrific companion. Well, I don't know about all that, but I can tell you two are best friends. Friends? Yeah, you know, friends, buddy, compadre, amigo, pal, besties. Yes, I, I understand the definition, but... <laughs> yeah, it's okay to cry. Let it out. There you go. Even doctors cry. It's... it's not me. Hey, uh, could you move a little to the left? You're blocking my vine. Oh, and I suppose you'd like some help. That'd be great, thanks! Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 oh. Oops, call me Butterfingers. Oh. Hey, how you doing, kid? Nice uh -huh. hat. Oh, I'm doing a little... Uh. Oinky Doinky's Tango! You came back to me! I mean, to us. Uh, not really, just... Pass the drill. Got some seriously important business to attend to. No time for the little people. Don't go. Don't go. Hey, I did my part. You're safe and sound. Back on the ground. All better. Bye bye. Yeah, I don't do a little kids. You want to take her? Thanks. No, she ran away from us. L looks like she's latched onto you. You should be honored that you gained her trust so quickly. Yeah, I'm jumping for joy. <laughs> but you can't tell, because I, I keep it all locked up inside. I'm private with the old emotions. <laughs> Come on. So, Gordo, what do you say? We hit the porcupine patch? Me, you, your butt full of quills, me laughing? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I'm gonna stick here with the doc. Right, so let's get mo what? We're trying to save our friends from the gorilla army. Wanna join us? What, me? <laughs> no, not my thing, thanks. Uh, last thing I need is a green pig and four eyes over here holding me back. Ooh, ooh, hey, look at the trailhead. Uh, you definitely don't want to go that way. Unless you want to be attacked by a colony of flying vampire squirrels. That's what I thought. Better leave the tour guiding to me, Gordo. Man, you guys really do need me. Come into my place for the game tonight. Sorry, no can do. Got a date with the whoa, missus. Whoa. What's wrong with this leaf? What the? What? What? Whoa! Run him out! Boy, Chip, go get him. Chip, Chip, yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
go back to sleep. I'm serious. You woke me up. Can I come with you? No! I gotta do my own thing. Maybe I can help you. No! You can't come... You can't come with me. Now, what did I say? Hit the hay, sweet dreams, and watch out for the bed bugs. They bite. <laughs> hey, no, 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 don't do that. Come on, don't cry. What's the matter? I'm not crying. <laughs> Just tell me where you're going. Where I, 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 well, I, it's my birthday. And my whole family throws a big party and they invite all the monkeys and you know how it is. Family obligations, blah, blah, blah. Are you coming back? Definitely. Now. Go to sleep. Okay. Real gorilla army men sleeping? Cool! Tango, keep it cool. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Hey, get off me, you flea-ridden monkey! Blech! Monkey residue! <laughs> Ooh, the monkey thinks he's a soldier. At ease, monkey. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, what exactly are you doing here? Besides spying. I'm no spy, sir. Ah, good start. And what do you want? It's... it's a human. His name is Doolittle. Yeah, yeah, that's old news. I got a doctor spilled that information. What about him? He's here. Can I help? Hmm? <laughs> can you find him? Me? Of course I can. I mean, I'm the most... Uh, yeah, I suppose. Then bring him to Red Rock Ridge. Tomorrow at sundown. But why? Because if you don't, you will end up like him. That is wrong on so many levels. But if you succeed, hey, I'll uh, make it a new leader at a monkey guard. Me? Monkey guard? Yes! Where you want this? Where you want this, dog? Who? Ah, Tango! It's him! He's got it! Tango! Who? Ah, Tango! Ready? Who? Ah, Tango! Surprise! What? Tango, it's your birthday! So here's what we'll say. Have a special day. Tango, happy birthday. Good evening, friends. Best friend. <laughs> Birthday flowers for you. Cake and presents too. For my favorite monkey. Tango, I love you. Happy birthday, Tango. You shouldn't have. Really. But it's your birthday! We should all have a party with our friends on our birthdays. That's what Chip and I used to do. Friends? <laughs> of course! Happy birthday, best bud! <clears throat> Let's grub. Here you go. It's not much, but we didn't have much time to make it. Wow. This is, uh, really nice of you. Well, you did save us from a possible vampire squirrel attack. You know, to new friends. 
to tango! Come on, let's party! To, to tango! John was beginning to realize that there was more to do Little Island than adventure. My old friends were becoming his new friends. now, all right? The secret entrance to the dungeon is just up ahead. Ooh, this is the most exercise I've gotten since, well, since Jip and I saved your life, Doc. He should have found us by now. You know, he's, he's part hound. They have a remarkable sense of smell. Ow! I love you, Tango. On second thought, this isn't the best route. Yeah, let's turn around. Wait, you mean I just climbed all that way for nothing? No, no, I, I think this is the right way. Uh, why do you guys have to be so difficult? Come on, hurry up. Don't let go, Doc. Remember, I saved your life. The entrance is just this way. Gotcha! I know you're trying to back out on our arrangement. Monkeys are so predictable. Ouch! No, don't hurt him! I want out of the deal! Deal? Deal? I don't remember any deal. What deal, Tango? What deal? Please, just just talk to us. We're not here to cause any trouble. We, we're just looking for our friends. What is this? Where is Doolittle? I'm Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> you. <laughs> Doolittle. <laughs> You're the one I've been worried about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not how I remember you. You knew my uncle? Oh, so that's why you're here. Trying to humanize an island full of animals must run in the family. Is that it? That's not what I'm trying to do. I just... I want to find my dog and save my friends. Dog and friends, whatever. You're gonna believe this guy, Ramps? Grab them! <laughs> Tango, help me! Leave her alone! No! Don't hurt Tango! Thanks to you, I have something better than what I'd imagined. Dr. Doolittle's pride and joy. His nephew. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're free to go. Tell the world of my triumph. Yeah, tell them. And of your treachery. Tango, why would you want to hurt us? Go. Have a nice life. No doubt it would be a lonely one. <laughs> It now seemed that all hope was lost for young John. Jippy Pops was gone, the animals were all captured, and his hopes for living up to the Doolittle name were growing dimmer with each passing moment. Look, a feeding time! Wonder what's for dinner. Dog! Johnny, are you all right? What did they do to you? Exactly what you told me they'd do. They laughed. And now, thanks to me, we're stuck in here. <sighs> Actually, I already blamed it all on Dad Dad. So you're off the hook. Oh, come on, snap out of it. I mean, you're Dr. Oinky Donkey Doolittle, for goodness sakes. I'm not a doctor. I'm not even fit to be a Doolittle. Please, for your own sake, stay away from me. I can't help you. Oh, don't be that way. It'll all be okay. I mean, at least Ramsey hasn't done anything really bad to us. This dungeon isn't so terrible. He could totally feed us to the gorillas, but has he done that? No. He could leave us out in the desert with no food or water. Has he done that? No, hadn't done that either. He hasn't even thrown us in the volcano yet. Of course, he has plenty of time to do all the things, so, uh... Okay, I just scared myself. <laughs> Did. Yeah, I didn't even notice your feathers were plucked off. I swear. See? Yeah, yeah you'll see, Dab Dab. It's great being bald. You're kidding, right? No! Now we can roll in the mud together, and you won't ever have to clean those feathers again. slobber machine. All right, you don't want to come this way. Trust me, it's all bad. Seriously, have you heard of prison, dungeons, evil goats? Hey, the gorillas aren't going to be scared of you, Poochnik, okay? They're not scared of anybody, except for... Oh, yeah. Rhinos. Tango, <laughs> is that you? Please don't hurt me.
<laughs> Eugene? I need your help. Leave me alone, or I'll stomp on you and make you feel the way my heart does. Uh, you already stomped me, remember? Oh, yeah. Feels awful, doesn't it? It's a pain that lingers. I'll say. I was ditched and had my heart broken. Then I was given one more chance to see the truth. And I had to go and screw that up too. Now, I'll never be able to see my Louise. That's where you're wrong. You got what it takes, man. Heart of a poet. Nah. No, yeah, you do, you do. Listen, listen. Your eyes are beautiful, shining stars. Sailing towards each other like two ships passing in the moonlight. Forget it. My words never had an effect on anyone. Especially Louise. Mmm, eh, I think you're wrong. These words you wrote, they don't sound like a guy who's ready to give up on love. Do you know where she is? Yep. That's why I came to find you. She's right up there. Pick up the pace, uh, shorty. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, the volcano's looking a little erupty these days. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, it's kind of warm in there. How'd I do, your highness? Mediocrity becomes your chumps. Well, uh, thank you, I think. See what fate lies before them, do little. Don't worry, your time will come. <laughs> now tie him up before your incompetence makes me physically ill. Yes, your great awfulness. <laughs> you don't have to do this! Talking to humans is just what got them into trouble in the first place. You do little should keep your mouth shut. Lower them in. No. I, uh, sir, Ramsey, Bam, sir, uh, are you sure you want to go through it all this? Questioning my leadership, Chomps? <laughs> No, no! Perish the thought! No! Oh, it's just that the whole lava thing seems a little uh, permanent, don't you think? And my rule shall be permanent, don't you think? Think? Who am I to think? <laughs> well? Oh, right, uh, that's me! <laughs> <gasps> You'll regret this! Please! Hey, let me out of here! I'm too young to die! And I'm too pretty to die! And I'm too alive to die! Well, as soon as my feathers grow back, I will be! Yes, well, I'm too important to die. But it looks like... It's... <laughs> At last! Doolittle's precious island is now Ramsey World. <laughs> what? Have no fear! The great Tango is here to save you! Oh yeah, and Eugene too. Chumps, before I throw you into the volcano, too. Why do you let him talk to you 
like that. Like what? Chumps! I will twist your tiny little legs into a pretzel if you don't get down here. Like that? Ah, uh, he doesn't mean it. He's just being Ramsey. You know, the king. The big boss man. But look, he can't even talk to the gorillas without you. Doesn't that sort of make you the boss? Me? The big boss man? I mean, I couldn't. No, Ramsey is my friend. Trust me, huh? he is not your friend. A friend is loyal, honest. A friend is... Chip! <laughs> Chip? What's a Chip? I can't believe it! He's alive! That little orange thingy? He's your friend? Best friend. Huh? He saved my life. Uh, Chumps, what? I swear huh? I will shave that ridiculous mane off of your head, attach it to a stick, and use it to mop up Gorilla Dog. Get over here. Fine, sir. Yes, sir. Tell these little girls to start acting like gorillas, or I will personally escort them to a boiling hot lava bath. Are uh, you sure you want me to tell them that? Will you just do it? All right, Ramsey, you got it. <laughs> what? What is this? What did you say to them? Uh, exactly uh, what you told me to say. Guess I went with a more literal translation than I usually do. Another truffle. Quack, stay with me. I'll give up truffles forever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Woo, we're tied up for a minute there. Stop it, you sacks of hair. I say stop it now. Jobs. Can we make it, boy? Okay, let's go. Moments of my life. Oh. oh, and the moment has passed. Louise, where are you, baby? Louise, you, you 
said Louise would be here. You lied to me again, Tango. <sighs> <sighs> that I, I ever knew. And your eyes are like two stars. <laughs> oh! Mommy. You saved me. I was about to be monkey meat. I'm still mad at you. Ah, you should be. I screwed up. But I promise, kid, I'm gonna take care of you from now on. I mean it. That won't be necessary. Uh, uh, Oinkie doinkies, it's Miss Ping! Mommy! I missed you. I love you, Mommy. Hey, Tango, come here! You old softy. You came through after all, didn't you, pal? <laughs> I guess so, Gordo. Ooh. I guess so, too, old buddy. I guess so, too. <laughs> John had proven himself to be quite the Doolittle after all. After a job well done, he bid his friends on Doolittle Island bye bye as I once did not so long ago. But then, this isn't about me, is it? Hmm. Sit down, little kitty thing! Now! Need any help, Gordo? Hey! Hey, Doc! <laughs> you stop picking bugs off your neighbor and you stop eating them. This is a classroom, not the Congo. Uh. that she would have the biggest... I'm just starting to understand what Doolittle Island is all about. Maybe you're just starting to understand what you're all about. But you didn't hear that from me. <coughs> Thanks, Jip. Dr. Doolittle speaking. John! Oh, hi, Mom. Honey, your father and I had a change in plans. We'll be extending our trip for just a bit longer. I had to see Polly. Any chance we can stay here for a while? I'm so excited to try Gouillard. Only for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> A little toasty down here, eh, boss? Leave me alone! <laughs> hey, I uh, should have brought some uh, reading material. <laughs> this isn't over, Doolittle! I will get you! I will get you, Doolittle! So, chums, this is how the story ends. A story of adventure, achievement, teamwork, and friendship. But even though my nephew had learned a lot about himself, this was only the beginning. Until the next time. Animal 
animals make the very best of friends. Animals you can always count on till the very end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals are just everyday plain folk. Listen up and you'll hear that they're always cracking jokes. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals are just everyday plain folk. When you hang with a monkey, he is never in a funk. He always seems to be as cheerful as can be. After all, he gets to swing from tree to tree. His day job is all play, and I might even dare say, life can't be more complete peeling bananas with your feet. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals will stick by your side until the bitter end. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. A pig now there's a chum, though he loves his dirt and scum. There are those who say he really has no class. At least his sense of fun can't be surpassed. He sleeps and snarks all day and loves a nice garbage buffet. He's not in the bourgeoisie, but I know you will agree that... Animals make the very best of friends. A day so blissful can be yours, but that all depends. When you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Now if you have great luck, you'll have a friend who is a duck and can swim really fast when so inclined. Especially when a shark is close behind. With charm, she's always oozing. With a voice that is so soothing, she's always got your back and will cheer you with a quack, quack. Animals, Animals make, make the very best, best of friends. Humans are terrific, and I don't mean to offend. But when you're with an animal, life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best of friends. Now, as you might have guessed to me, a dog, now that's the best. He's always just so happy as can be. He's the greatest pal there is, even to fleas. His tail's always wagging. And I don't mean to be bragging, but I really must declare that no human can come out. Animals make the very best of friends. Animals you can always tell them to live very When you're with an animal. Life can be so phenomenal. Animals make the very best. Nothing can compare to the rest. Animals make the very best of friends.